It's the Brian No Show. It beats being a plumber. On NBC Sports Northwest, 620 Rip City Radio. I would like to bring in Daniel Sabo. He's hey, a trainer for Good Feet Northwest, joining us here on the Brian No Show. What's going on, Daniel? How are things going, man? Oh, uh, man, it's another beautiful day here, uh, and I'm just I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. So we're going to get to an impression of my foot here, which I got to say, I'm looking over it. It's, it. It looks quite glorious here, but uh, we'll get to that momentarily. I just want to start off with your company and what you guys do and and just – Give us give us a sense of what it is you do, because I think a lot of people, they might not be familiar exactly with what it is. Yeah, good for you. We are your art support specialists. Uh, we're really here to um, help anybody who would like to perform better in their activity, recover from activity, or even reduce pain in their daily life uh, by use of support. Their design is to really get the foot into its proper place and alignment, which helps the rest of the body um, from the ankles, knees, hips, and back. And we're here with certified arch support fitters who are specifically trained to get you fit for supports that are designed for your feet. Um, the purpose is to help get your foot into a natural position, its ideal position over time, and which we'll kind of talk about once we talk about your prints. Yeah, man. Okay. We'll get to those prints momentarily here, but when you talk about arch and support, like what's the purpose of that? Well, the purpose is to get the the feet properly aligned. Um, We take pressure off of heavy pressure areas, so it'll encourage even weight distribution across the foot, as well as help train the foot into a healthier position and alignment. We use a system of supports, which you can kind of see here it's a three-step system consisting of a strengthener support, a maintainer, and a relaxer. Each of these will have kind of their unique purpose. For example, this strengthener that kind of looks like this is really designed to retrain the foot. It's designed as for everyday use through your work life, that kind of 9 to 5, 8, 10, 12-hour workday. But then we also have supports that are really designed to aid with performance offering an additional level of support when you are being active to help keep not just the feet supported, but your body aligned. So you get that increased performance. And then we use a third support called a relaxer. And this is all about recovery. You use it in the morning to wake your feet up, kind of stretch the muscles of the feet out. And then at the end of the day to provide uh, recovery for the feet after you use them all day long it helps to stretch them out. You know, on this show, it's a sports show, and we cover athletes all the time. And if you use these arches and you have a better foot shape, if you will, can it make you faster? Can it make you more agile? Like, how does it work as far as an athlete goes? So I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I've, I'm a runner, a long-distance runner, and I have been for many years. Uh, I noticed because of my flat feet, I've dealt with a lot of knee pain, which pain is going to slow you down. Uh, as I've used the supports to retrain my feet and get my knees properly aligned, I can run farther, I can run faster, even as I'm, you know, approaching 40 years old and moving into that next age of life. I feel healthier than I did when I was 25. So That's good to know because I did a 5K last year for the Rip City Race for the Roses, and it was in the 40-minute area. I was walking a not in great shape. I tore my ACL, so I'm not big on running. I wasn't in running shape, but I think this adds hope here. If I work with my arches, I mean, I might do it in, I don't know, 10 minutes flat the next time. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. So here is, this is my foot impression here, Daniel. Now, if we compare it to, I know you have charts of when you get the, uh, the arch support, and it, yeah. So if you break that down, what are we looking for? What's ideal? Well, this is this is an image of the ideal foot, and there's key things that we focus on. Like you should see a healthy C shape in that arch, rather than you know we see an image of a flat foot or even a high arch here. You also want nice even color throughout the entire print, lacking areas of heavy pressure, and the balls of the feet or the heels, which is very common. 
You'll also notice that all five toes are present. They're evenly spaced, not squished together. And then alignment. And that deals with how the outside of your pinky toe lines up with the outside of the heel. And then the inside of the second toe lines up with the inside of the heel. And you're going to see this as straight, not turning out or turning in. And imagine if you are doing, say, a, a 5K and you are constantly fall, your footfall is out of alignment, how that affects your entire body. So the supports are designed to, over time, encourage that more proper alignment, strengthen the foot, getting it to this position over time. And that's something that we track through additional follow-ups as you come in or even through virtual fittings, uh, having you reprint your feet over time so we can see that change. Yes, and I did the virtual fitting yesterday. It wasn't a problem at all. You just you get a water-based paint. You basically paint the bottom of your foot, step on a paper, and then boom, that's it. It washes off. It's a cinch. It's no problem whatsoever. It's very, very easy. And I have to say that I've got some work to do because it looks like my foot is flat. And it also looks like, I don't know which direction is which, but if I want to go north, it's almost like my foot is pointed west. And so it's like I have <laughs> right. to run east to run north. I think that's what I'm looking at. Something like that, right? Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I got to get that corrected. Okay. So is there anything else that you need to mention in terms of, I know there's the three-step system of support. Is there anything else that people should know that could help them out in their daily lives? Uh, just the big one of the biggest things is the importance of having support underneath your feet at all times, even around the house. You know, if we use this great level of support throughout our day and then we go home and the shoes come off and we're walking on these hard, flat surfaces without anything supporting those arches, it actually does a lot of damage to the feet and the body. And it makes it more difficult for your body to recover overnight because you've been out of alignment through, throughout the evening as you're on your feet cooking and cleaning and doing the home projects that we do. How about lower back? My lower back has been tight the last few weeks. If my feet weren't headed east and west, or, right, like, would it help your lower back potentially? Oh, man, one of the biggest things that we see from clients is when they get into proper support, they stand up taller because they really encourage that correct posture. And once you stand up straight, like our mom has taught us, it really takes stress and strain off the back and spine. It's something very common. Yeah, interesting. Okay, man. So how do people get in touch with you if they are so inclined to feel healthier, maybe uh, run faster, run longer? Where do they reach you at? Uh, there's a couple of places. One is they can always call 1-800-NEW-FEET or go online. If you go to goodfeetnw for Northwest, goodfeetnw.com, we'll actually be able to put you in touch with your local Good Feet store. And you can do this from the comfort of your own home through this virtual fitting. We'll set up a, a, a meeting with you. And we are, we are trained professionals that can aid you in finding that right level of support. And an important thing is that right, we are currently offering discounts for medical professionals and first responders, as well as we have enhanced financing options for people who need, the, need that help right now. Awesome stuff, man. Well, really appreciate your time, Daniel. Good luck with everything. And uh, by the way, what do you think of the color? I used indigo. Was that a yeah, decent I, choice? I love Should it. I, yeah. Where, where, does gonna, it, where does indigo rank on the power rankings of colors that people use for their foot impression? You know, uh, I've seen a lot of coconut oil on a brown paper sack, so that doesn't really leave much uh, for the eye. But I, I'm I'm digging that indigo. I may encourage that in the future. Well, that's it's awesome. Fuchsia in there. <laughs> Trendsetter over here. There you go. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, Daniel Sabo, trainer for Good Feet Northwest. Thanks for your time, man. Thanks for all the information. Thank you, Brian. Have a great day. Stay you safe. Too. Yep, as, absolutely. You as well. There he is, Daniel Sabo, trainer for Good Feet Northwest. Again, hit him up, 1-800-NEW-FEET to learn more. You can also visit them at goodfeetnw.com. Okay, Joe Fan at 1020. We'll talk some Seahawks and some NFL. Coming up around the corner, some college coaches. They have some words for Mark Emmert, and I actually think Mark Emmert is on the right side we'll get to that it's the brian no show nbc sports northwest 620 rip city radio